What will be different about this is that at a time when we were concerned about the necessity of having our highest officials obey the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, we find a flagrant abuse of that from the highest quarter, from the President of the United States himself. It is in this respect that we call upon the total resources of the Democratic Party, every one of them, from the precinct captain up to Larry O'Brien, to come forward and give the full benefit of their leadership to express our outrage at the present position taken by, the, by uh, President Nixon in expanding this war without the consent of Congress. It is clearly written in the Constitution that only Congress can involve us in war. The fact that we have had that unfortunate and disastrous experience once does not justify its repetition. And it is in this respect that we are calling a meeting of all of the leaders to support Mr. Mansfield and Mr. Fulbright and the Foreign Affairs Committee and all of the people of, that want peace. And we are calling upon all of the leadership of the Democratic Party and all of the leadership of the Liberal Party and all of the leadership of labor and those of the minorities and peace to join us in this effort so that we, in truth, will be able to establish on next Tuesday that the position taken in 1968 in ag against the war in Vietnam is even more fortified now. And we are totally opposed to this further expansion. And when the